guys. So I want to thank you for coming. If you are visiting this channel for the first time, thank you for coming. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you are returning to the channel, I want to thank you for your continued support. If you've been watching the channel, I'll link it above here. I've been doing a lot of work with this 2003 Saab 93 convertible. It's a pretty rare car. It's got 27,000 original miles on it. And um, originally, when I had the car, I fixed a bunch of things. Um, two, two, uh, two engine lights were on, small EVAP, 442, and of course, the temp sensor which of course uh, was causing the car to kick the AC off when it would lose communication with the sensor because the car would think that it's overheating. Anyways, we replaced all that. We fixed the convertible top. That was another issue. And the reason why the car is back in my possession now for this video is simply because 442, P0442, small EVAP leak, uh, has returned and of course, we fixed the hydraulic line on the driver's side and the owner noticed a few drips coming from the passenger side. So what I did uh, just to address the few drips on the passenger side is obviously, as you can see right here, cylinder heads on this car which is a very common issue on these Saabs and of course other convertibles so it's not just for Saab but you know when these things are not being used often you know it loses hydration in the seals and of course starts to leak and then of course naturally as it ages it will leak regardless so in this case we have not only age but lack of use um, so I'm using this can of Lucas boost oil which is for hydraulic lifts such as what this is to try to rejuice and um, create um, you know refresh the seals and hopefully slow down the leak it also thickens up the fluid a little bit too which will prevent so much dripping so I'm hoping to prolong having to replace those cylinder heads because personally speaking I don't it's a pretty big job if anybody has done it, congratulations. I haven't, I just know it's a big deal. And if I can save my time working on that and of course save the owner you know, a lot of money, this is a good start. So if you have the issue, make sure you go ahead and take this into effect. Now the reason why we're taking this long drive for this video is because we're running on a full tank and I want to drain some of the fuel in that tank. When I get back home and I hope that the, the fuel tank drops a little bit, I want to go and retest the fuel tank pressure to see if it's still running under 0.3, which is in the normal range at idle, at idle, of course. Um, that's, that's a common thing with P0442 is you'll get the engine light when it's got like three quarters of a tank to a half a tank because that's when the pressure, you know, seems to have an issue with the leak. So that's why we're taking this drive. As you saw uh, in this video right here, I'm gonna take a second from the drive and show you another thing, another vacuum line that I missed the last time, which goes to the back of the throttle right here. Check it out. All right, so we have, we couldn't replace the hose because they didn't have it at the local dealership or the local shop. So what I did is I placed a layer of adhesive over that just where it was rusted up so you can see now it's good and it should last you know adhesive is a strong strong glue you can tell as you can see the engine is idling nicely very smooth heard valve is ticking and clicking which is good it means it's working so we're just gonna let this run for a little bit and then we're gonna take it for a drive. You'll see, you know, obviously I couldn't find the part at the local shop, I'd have to order it, but I used, as you saw, you know, a um, adhesive and the adhesive um, should do the trick. I mean, adhesive is 
is it's not porous and of course it's strong it can withhold the heat of the engine so it shouldn't really be a problem and of course it's still flexible so it's it does everything that the that we need it to do for the time being until it becomes a further issue we can readdress it then so we got about 40 miles i guess or so on this tank um and we're gonna just go burn some so let's take a cruise i'm gonna show you some of my favorite roads Right, guys we are back from the drive did another round of testing as you can see with the tech 2 up there and the fuel pressure fuel tank pressure still looked normal so I think based on the performance of the vehicle how it was riding compared to it previously was knowing that we fixed and sealed off that one last leaky um, vacuum line to the throttle body I think we may have fixed our problem um, I used the top a couple times as well and I'm not seeing any drips down there, so I think our fix with the hydraulic boost for now may, may have solved that little issue. So we're looking good. I'm going to return this car back to the owner and hope that it stays there for the rest of the summer till we go ahead and do the next round of maintenance, which is already scheduled for what we need to do on it. Of course, none of it's a big deal, which is why he's going to get it back and enjoy the summer with it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, and don't forget to subscribe. Drop a comment and give this video a like. Thanks, guys.